Okay, Miss Stevens here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about sin and forgiveness. Alrighty, so do you guys know what sin is? Sometimes sin is a little hard to define, but sin is when we miss the mark. I like to talk about sin in a way like a sports analogy. So, sin is when we miss a shot or we miss the goal. There was something that we were supposed to hit or something that we were supposed to shoot through and we missed it. And so, sin is when we do something that we're not supposed to be doing. We miss the mark. That's where the term sin came from. So, Romans 3.23 tells us that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. None of us are perfect. I'm going to say that one, one more time. None of us are perfect. Not even me, not even your parents, not even your teachers. Can you believe that? No one is perfect. That's where God and forgiveness stepped in. You've probably heard of that, that word, that F word, forgiveness which means to like, hey, you know, you made my feelings hurt. Like you hurt my feelings. And then you say, will you forgive me? Or you ask for forgiveness or you extend forgiveness. But I want to talk about forgiveness in the way that God gives us forgiveness. God loved us so much that he sent his only son named Jesus to forgive us. So during this time, there are people who did not like Jesus. They didn't like Jesus because of who he was and how important he was. And they conspired and they got together. Do you know what their names were? They are called the Pharisees. And the Pharisees, they're never fair. You see, that's, that's kind of the joke about it. So they got together and they said, we want to kill Jesus. They said some awful things about him. They said that he wasn't worthy to be the king. They said terrible things about him. You've probably had people say terrible things about you, right? And that felt awful, right? So they got together and they decided we're going to put Jesus on a cross. He's going to pay for what he's going to do. But God planned for Jesus to be on the cross so that we could be forgiven of our sin. So when Jesus died on the cross, he took our sin and he forgave us of all the sin and shame and guilt in the world. So today I want to talk about how that looks like in the science experiment. Is that okay with you guys? So what I am going to do is I'm going to do this safely because all signs should be practiced in safety. So I'm going to put my gloves on. I'm going to advise you that if you're going to do this, please, 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 please have a trusted adult with you because this can get a little messy. Alrighty. So I want you to start thinking about what this this soda may look like. I want you to think about what this is going to represent. And then I want you to also think about what this face is going to represent. And also this clear substance, this kind of white substance. And here is how this is going to go. So this vase, this vase in front of me represents me and you. It represents the person that we are, okay? And this this soda is going to represent our sin. Sin's dirty. It's messy. It gets all over the place. Sin is when we lie, when we cheat, when we steal, when we do things we're not supposed to, when we disobey our parents. And it's messy. And it's sticky and it gets all over the place, right? And this is us. And because we're humans and because we live in this world, we sin. And like I said, it gets messy. It fizzes up. And we're filled with sin. We're filled with sin. You know what? That's not great, right? Because we want to be forgiven of our sin. We don't want to keep sin in our lives. We want to be forgiven. And this clear stuff, this white powder, is going to represent Jesus. Okay? Jesus is going to come in and take our sin away. He's going to cleanse us from our sins. So, I want you to pay attention to what happens when I pour the white powder into this dark substance, okay?
Guys, look at the substance. What color is the substance burning? It turned white, right? And that is Jesus cleansing us from our sins and making us pure and holy again. Alrighty, guys. Thanks.